we all know masking got a really big overhaul in the 2026 version of on one photo raw so today we're going to take a look at that new masking aspect inside of on one now i am using a pre-release version of the software so things may look a little bit different and feel a little bit different in the full release version of the software but think of this as just getting an idea of what you can do with the software when you get it into your hands. Now, of course, if you want to save some money, you can use the coupon code FREEWILL10. That'll save you some money on the pre-order of On One Photo Raw 2026. It is an affiliate coupon, which means I make a commission from everyone who uses it, but it's at no extra cost to you. Now, let's jump into the computer and take a look at masking. All right, so here we are inside of Photo Raw 2026 pre-release software. I wanna stress that because things may work a little bit differently when it is fully released, but when it comes to masking, one of the most common things that you may wanna do is select the sky and then fade in an effect from the top or maybe even from the bottom of the sky. But you'll notice I have this big tree here in the foreground and it's definitely gonna be something that would take a long time to try to mask out. And in previous versions of Photo Raw, we weren't able to really work with this type of project, right? But with the new masking, we can. So let me show you what we're able to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on this mask and press the letter O. So that way you can see what this mask looks like. So this is the mask and you can see it does a really, really good job at getting around the tree branches there. And then I've already added in the gradient at the top and you can see I have a mask sky. So if I turn off the gradient, there's the actual mask sky or the sky mask. And then I applied that gradient over the top to get us this look. Now, let me show you how this is actually put together. So we'll go ahead and turn off this adjustment and I'll press the letter O to get rid of that mask overlay. And the first step in doing something like this, at least what I found so far, is you want to apply the sky mask first. So we're gonna apply the sky mask and then I'm gonna press the letter O so we can see how this is all building up. And there is our sky mask. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is some form of subtraction. And the way you, you kinda of gotta think about it, or at least how I'm thinking about this right now, is I want to remove some portion of the background here that is taking the effect, right? Because if white shows and black hides, then I want to put more black into this image, which tells me I need to do a subtraction, okay? That's the way that I'm thinking of this. So what I'm gonna do is come up here to the more option, and then I'm going to come down to gradient, and then I'm going to select subtract. So all I had to do was hover over everything, hit subtract, and there's my black subtraction. Now at the moment, if I were to apply an adjustment, it would only go in this middle section here. And that's not necessarily how I want this to be applied. And then of course I could drag this up and that's getting me back to essentially right where I began. What I want to do is be able to fade the gradient in from the top. So applying the selection or the adjustment from the top all the way down to the bottom and fading that out. So it's a really easy fix. All you have to do is rotate this around and you'll notice that I, I now have the white across the top of my gradient here. And as I pull the gradient tool down, I start to reveal the tree again. And then of course, you just have to work with your feather until you get something that tapers in the way that you want. So what does this mean in reality or like full effect? Let's go ahead and press the letter O and we'll come over here to our adjustment. I'm just gonna minimize this mask and get some more real estate. And let's just increase the vibrancy and we'll also increase the or decrease the brightness. We'll we'll go the opposite direction. All right, something like that. And then maybe make the sky just a little bit more blue up there. And notice 
the top portion of the image is actually getting the effect where the sunset area is not getting much of that effect. And then of course, if I were to pull this even further down, you'll notice that it's coming even further into the frame and impacting the image in that way. All right, so there's just a quick preview of what we can do in the new version of On One Photo Raw with the masking tools that are gonna be available to us. Now again, this is pre-release software, so some things may work a little bit differently when the full version is released. Now, if you'd like to pre-order on One Photo Raw, you can use the coupon code FREEWILL10 to save some money when you check out between now and October 31st, 2025. It is an affiliate coupon, which just means I make some money when you use that coupon, but you're saving money, so it's a win-win. Now, of course, if you'd love to get your questions answered about On One Photo Raw and you want me to work with you as you learn the software, consider signing up for a training call with me. A link for that can be found in the description box below. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.